Hi guys and welcome to your Twin Flame Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look at and see what your Twin Flame here is thinking or feeling about this connection, what's going on with them here. This is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. For those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out. I will list my email just below the video here. So let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what's going on with your Twin Flame's energy here. Okay, so I can see that your twin flame here is really being weighed down with a strong sense of guilt or remorse, okay? They they might have really hurt you here, okay? They might have really hurt you. Or they might have said or done something here which they're not proud of, okay? They feel really disappointed with themselves. They're regretting their sense of actions. There's something here that they keep looking back and it's almost like they're replaying something that they said to you last or a conversation which really didn't go down so well between the two of you. But I feel like they feel really responsible for what, you know, what was said or what happened here. And I can see that your twin flame here is... They've, they have this really heavy energy around them where they feel like they can't, it's almost like they they feel like they can't unsay what they said or they can't undo what they did. And it's like they're stuck and fixated on something in the past, you know. Your twin flame, he may have walked away from you, okay, with the eight of cups because it is a strong sense of abandonment. It's a strong sense of rejection here. And I feel like your twin flame now is reconsidering here, okay. They're really reconsidering their decision to have pulled away from you. At that point in time, their emotional state seemed to have said to them that it may have been, you know, the better the better of choices to do. But right now, in hindsight, and hindsight is a funny thing, right now they're really regretting their actions to have walked away from you, okay? There may have been a third party situation as well here. There may have been someone else and your twin flame may have ended up choosing someone else over you. But I feel like they're now really deeply regretting their choice and their decision to do so because they keep thinking they with someone else right now, but I feel like they keep thinking about you. And look, they have very strong romantic feelings for you, okay? And I feel like it's taken them this, okay? It's taken all all of this separation and this pain and this all this discomfort and unease for them to realize just how much they're in love with you or just how much, you know, of a friendship and a partnership and a union you have together. They feel, even if they don't believe in any of this stuff, they feel that you're like a, they feel like you're a soulmate here, okay, and you feel so familiar to your twin flame, they felt as though from the moment they met you, they may have fallen in love with you, or they felt as though they just knew you, it's almost like they felt this instant connection the first time that they saw you, they, they felt this strong sense of familiarity, and the strong sense of, my goodness, like they know you, they've known you from a previous lifetime, or it's like they've known you for many years, they felt this familiarity, and even though they've walked away from you physically, they've definitely not walked away from you emotionally, because they felt, they still feel this emotional thread that ties the two of you together, and they can't let go, okay, there's an emptiness that they feel now, there's an emptiness, they walked away from you because they felt as though they may not have that you know, they felt as though they didn't have that emotional fulfillment or they felt as though they wanted to go out there and explore other pastures, greener pastures maybe, or see, you know, whether the grass is green on the other side or see what's going on on the other side of the mountain. And look, it's a decision that they made in a haste of a moment, but it's definitely a decision that they're living with now in regret. Okay, they want to come back together here. Your twin flame here is wanting to come back. In fact, they really have been thinking about trying to reach out to you lately. So if you haven't been talking with one another, if they've ghosted you, rejected or abandoned you, they're definitely thinking about re uh they're definitely thinking about connecting with you, reaching out and communicating here. Um but they are waiting. They're giving this a lot of thought, okay? They're giving this a lot of thought. It's almost like there's a hesitation. It's almost like they're hesitant to do so. Why? 
Is it because, you know, they were in the wrong, they ghosted you, and now it's really awkward for them to just, you know, show up as Casper the ghost? How do they explain the situation? Is it because they said or did things that they regret and they feel this guilt that they can't seem to, you know, cope with? Is it because they don't know what to say or they don't know how you might reciprocate? They're giving this a lot of thought. So much so that I feel like they're overthinking it a lot as well. They're also waiting for something. Your twin flame here is waiting for something. What is it that they're waiting for? Well, they, it makes sense because they say that, you know, a twin flame here, they, they simply wait for the natural order of things. They do. They simply wait for the natural order of of things to me it feels right now the best way of describing it is they're kind of in a waiting room that's that's how it feels like they don't feel like they're in control of their own lives they definitely don't feel like they're in control of their own thoughts it feels like they're waiting they're waiting to communicate they're waiting for things to get better they're waiting to process their thoughts their emotions they're waiting for you to respond they're waiting to put together a text message so they could send it off to you they're waiting you know for the right time for them to be ready so they could reach out and communicate with you. It's just this waiting game here. It's likely that they will come back here, but I can see that they are a little bit stubborn. They are coming across as someone who has a bit of a, you know, a lot of pride. So maybe that's the other thing that's preventing them from reaching out here because, you know, I feel like maybe they haven't swallowed their pride here and to me, it feels like they're a little bit stubborn. Maybe they're waiting for you to reach out first and communicate, you know, so you can sort of open up the channels of communication. But to me, it's like they're, they're waiting here. There's a strong sense of waiting. They're waiting for you, basically. To me, it feels like both twin flames here, okay, both twin flames are waiting to communicate or waiting to initiate contact with one another. And it's like you're waiting for your DM or your DF here to reach out and your DM or DF is waiting for you to reach out. And it's this sort of waiting game, okay? Both of you know that it's only a matter of time before the communication takes place, but it's like, you know, timing is everything, right? And to me, it feels like twin flames here are waiting for each other to contact first but right now at this point in time no one is making a move no one's taking the first step here someone does feel a little bit exhausted from chasing i think okay but the thing is, with twin flames, they naturally, it doesn't matter, you know, what keeps them apart, whether it's distance, emotions, or whether whatever other external or internal influences. They, the thing with twin flames is they're so powerful that they always find a way to gravitate back towards one another. So, you know, take comfort in the thought that you guys might not be together right now at this point in time, and things may be, you know, really difficult and challenging now. But in the future, I do feel like you will find a way. Again, it's the natural order of things when it comes to twin flames. You'll find a way to gravitate towards one another. Okay, right now, yes, there is this suspension. There is this waiting game and neither of you are, you know, making the contact or taking the first steps. But I feel like somehow, somehow you guys will just end up back together again. One thing's for certain, you guys always gravitate back towards one another, right? Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for um, listening and watching. Please feel free to share um, or subscribe to the channel to show your support. And don't hesitate to reach out for any future guidance. I do want to wish you all the very best. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, both twin flames and love readings. So do stay tuned. Bye for now.